Good morning, grade threes. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. No one is sounding excited. I'm very excited. You don't know why I'm excited? You want to know why? Why, yes, ma'am? Ma because in two days, we have a spring break. So I'm very excited. <laughs> I know why you all are not excited. <laughs> Okay. Now we are very excited, ma'am. Yes, but before you go for uh, your break, we still have to cover some topics. So we'll finish that, and then uh, during your holidays, you can do a little bit of revision. Okay, so I'm going to share my PPT with all of you, and take a look and see what we are going to do. Something really interesting today. Okay. You are able to see my screen? We'll start with the thinking routine first, okay? Let's activate your brain a bit. Let's see what you remember from the previous lesson. So who can tell me, can you identify these natural resources, Rama? Yes, ma'am. Second picture is oil and resource, oil and gas. Okay. And- uh, The first one is, yeah, dates. dates. Okay, Priscilla, is she correct? Yes, ma'am, she is correct. Okay, very good. So you were able to identify and you know, in the previous lesson, what we were doing, we were doing the lesson on natural resources in UAE. Okay, now let's start uh, with the thinking routine. Now take a look at these pictures. What comes to your mind when you see these marine pictures, marine animals? Uh, Shishti, can you tell me? Yeah, ma'am. Uh, these are extinct animals or getting going to get extinct. Okay, I yes. see a seahorse and a turtle. Okay, one minute. Now you have to remember to follow the classroom rules. So I did not hear what Shishti said and I did not hear what Rizwana said. Okay, so Shishti, can you go first since you began? Yes, ma'am. I see some aquatic animals here, ma'am. The first one I think is a seal. Okay. I think so. Second is a turtle and the third one is a seahorse. If I'm not wrong. Okay, Rizwana, what about you? I was saying, I think they are the animals which are going to get extinct or are already extinct. Very good. Close, Rizwana. Very close. Okay. Now, can you see what I have over here? You can see this? What do I have over here? What 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 is this at my hand? In water. Yes. Yeah, so water. these. Correct. So how does this water look? Maybe you can see through this. Dirty. Dirty, Dirty water. water. Okay. So very close to what Rizwana said. These animals are under threat. In okay? danger. So what we're going to see is we must understand what is the purpose of conserving these marine animals. Why do you think we should conserve these marine animals? Rabia, can you tell me? Ma'am, so that the next generation also uh, get to know these uh, animals. Okay. Uh, you think that's the only reason, Osina? Anything else comes to your mind? Don't know, ma'am. Okay, no problem. We will learn more. Okay, it's okay not to know. So today's lesson, what we're going to do is, we are going to do, we are going to explore the endangered animals living in the sea near UAE. Okay, and by the end of the lesson, you are going to be able to identify some of the endangered marine animals in UAE. You're going to explain how these animals are getting extinct, and you can suggest ways to conserve the endangered animals. All clear? Everybody? So you understood yes, what we're doing today? Okay. Now please keep your notebooks ready because and keep the date ready. Okay. Because while we're doing, maybe you can take down a few important points. Now I'll show you one video. You're going to take a look at this video very carefully. Just a moment. Okay. I'll just share it. Okay. That's it? Not begun? Okay, I'll share again. No, can't see. Mm. Okay. From the sculpted beauty of desert dunes to the undersea realms of the Persian Gulf, the United Arab Emirates is a study in contrast. And while most people associate Arabia with desert life, the region is in fact teeming with marine animals as well, and perhaps none more intriguing than the dugong. Its nickname is the sea cow, and like its namesake, it spends hours each day grazing. Dugongs ply the warm shallow waters off the coast, 
feeding along seemingly endless beds of waving seagrass. Their cylinder-shaped bodies measure more than 10 feet in length, and fully grown, they can weigh in at over 800 pounds. In the seagrass beds, they seem bulky, placid, and content. But conservationists are worried. Some of these creatures share the coastline with the largest of the Emirates, Abu Dhabi. Over a million people live here, and that number is swelling by over 50,000 each year. New buildings sprout from the sands, and engineers drive back the sea to house the burgeoning population. All this bright real estate comes at a cost, not just to the buyers, but to the marine environment as well. Dredging and construction leach silt into the Gulf, which chokes corals. Worse for the dugongs, the silt smothers the seagrass, covering their food supply with a blanket of debris and pollution. The seagrass beds are dying. It's a potential threat because these so-called sea cows need to consume huge amounts of seagrass in order to survive. The underwater vegetation has a very low nutritional value. What dugongs lack in quality, they make up for in vast quantities. An adult can eat almost 70 pounds of grass in a single day. It's not only dugongs that suffer. The seagrasses also provide food and shelter for the endangered green turtle. And the sea turtle, in turn, provides transportation for fish called remoras. So with the seagrass beds buried, entire ecosystems of marine creatures feel the impact. But in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi, it's the dugon population that is most in the spotlight. The species has already been listed as vulnerable to extinction. And this is part of the second largest population remaining in the world. To lose these dugongs would be a further blow to an already beleaguered species. Okay. So, uh, did you enjoy watching that? Yes. So, yes, ma'am. Right. So, if you have seen that video, what do you think uh, this lesson is going to be about? Which of the which animal, marine animal? Who is going to tell me? Priscilla, which marine animal were you watching in the video? Dugong. Dugong, correct. So we're going to see about the dugong. And uh, what is the common name which is there for which, uh, if you were listening carefully, what is the name which they usually sea call? Cow. Sea cow. Sea cow. Sea cow. Very good. Sea. Yeah? sea cow. Okay. So you were listening. Now I'll share my screen again. First, we must understand where the, uh, you know, we must look at the coastal area first of around UAE. Okay, so if you take a look, I have my globe here. You have your atlases, you can also see. So if you can see, we are going to look at uh, the Abu Dhabi over here. You have the UAE here. You all can see my screen. You can all see me. Okay, so which is the uh, coast? What is the sea? What is the water body around UAE? What is the water body called? Which is that water body? Ashwini? Do you know what? Ma'am, I don't know. Okay, who's going to help her? Sabita, ma'am. Is it uh, Gulf Arabian of Oman? Any... Uh, yes, we have the no. Arabian Sea and we have the Persian Gulf. Okay, it's called okay. the Persian Gulf. Okay, so if you look at my screen, this is what the coastal marine habitat looks like. And if you see, there's a lot of, what does this uh, dugongs eat? What do they eat? Grass, is... underwater grass. Uh, there is some, yes, yeah, seagrass. It's called seagrass. You must use the correct terms children okay don't make your own words it's called seagrass. Okay. okay they are called it is called seagrass so that is what they eat and if you see that quite a lot of this is uh, uh, in this area now if you see the next one here okay now you see here so when you what you understood from this video that we need to what do we need to do Rama what do you think was the video all about basically to try and tell us Ma'am, we have to protect this animal because it's going to extreme. So we have to protect this. Yes, we have to protect this animal. Okay, now I'm going to show you a little bit more about the dugongs. We'll understand a little bit more about them. Now, UAE is surrounded by two water bodies, the Arabian Gulf, Sea of Oman, like somebody said. Okay, and there are many kinds of species of sea, underwater sea, the fish and marine life in the water. Now, it is always, uh, these are all important natural resources, all right, around. 
for around this area it is important for the uee and they are small fish on the seashore which need to thrive in these shallow waters along with the dugong because it also survives in the shallow waters because that's where the sea grass grows that's what their food is okay and because of these dugong what what do you think it helps in the ecosystem you know what is ecosystem there is a balance in the ecosystem anybody can tell me sabita do you know what is the ecosystem balance in the ecosystem it is like uh, the uh, animals will eat uh, depend on others for their food and they form a food chain so that is called an ecosystem right food so, chain right. food chain correct so like you saw in the video the dugongs are eating the sea grass and they also help to protect the other animals like the turtles and the you also have the sea horse along with other small uh, marine life okay now dugongs as it, they are sometimes called sea cows the babies of dugongs are called calves okay they call calves now they are very big they look what do you think they look like do they are they look uh, do they look little similar to any animal on land what do you think what about their face you know do they look a little similar to uh, can we say hippo? yes rizwana yes they look like hippopotamus yes, they look like, okay they look like hippopotamus okay they are mammals all right and uh, they eat they are uh, babies are called calves and they baby stays with their mothers for only 2 years all right now dugong dugongs are endangered animals okay this means that there are very few of them left in the world and people are using these dugongs for various purposes because a lot of their parts of their body are used for various things okay their skin their bones their teeth even a little bit of oil which is found in their body that is also used so uh, that is why they are hunted for all these things that is one reason why they are endangered and there are many more reasons also okay like it's here there is not enough sea grass left why do you think there is not enough sea grass left rabia why do you think ma'am because because we are destroying it we are we are building uh we are going uh, inside that near uh, what is that we are building um, residential uh, villas and all that and then creating uh, man made islands and destroying Correct. their habitat very good okay so that is the reason why we are eating into the sea and the water and the, uh, there is a lot of filling in of the land in the water now if you see dugongs dugongs are very important for uae because they are considered the flagship and umbrella species in the uae now flagship means like they are like the stars okay like how you all are stars in my class dugongs are like stars in in the marine in the area coastal area of uae and they are the umbrella species umbrella species means they are like a canopy they protect and they are the cause of the protection of other sea creatures as well so that is why they are called the umbrella species okay and uh, if you see in the next point here they are important for other fish species to also thrive they are also the second largest population found in ue after australia so you can imagine how important they are okay because after australia you have the maximum number in ue now if you see on top over here there's a little graph now i've seen in numeracy you all have done you all know about graphs so the, this these are the years and this shows the graph shows the number of deaths of dugongs in the various years okay so in 2011 there were quite a number of deaths as compared to previous years and the most recent there were a total of 10 deaths were recorded during the peak season of 2019 to 20 okay as compared to 23 deaths in previous seasons so do you think there is a, uh, if there is less there less number of deaths now see the uh, figures there were 10 deaths mm -hmm. in 2019 20 as compared to previously what could be the reason what could be the reason because we are destroying their habitat and they don't have uh, enough sea grass to eat or okay that is the cause of the death but uh, why do you think there the deaths have decreased in this year as compared to previous seasons which one ma'am uh, the deaths of the dugongs you can see in the year 2019 to 20 the number of deaths were only 10 as compared to previous seasons sabita ma'am can you please tell me why you think so Might be because of COVID. Okay, so what happened because Maybe of COVID? Because yes, yes. Come on, I want you all to think. 
maybe because abu dhabi is consciously taking care of these so maybe they are conserving these animals keeping in mind that they are getting endangered correct very good uh, very good okay so that's the reason and like uh, sabita mama said that uh, it was covid time so there was less of uh, things happening around you know because of covid fishing would have been less so the area was uh, you know let less the uh, number of boats going out into the sea so all these contributed to less number of dugong deaths okay see these are the some of the threats like the fishing nets they get caught in fishing nets then uh, this is dredging okay dredging taking place this what else can be like you all have already i showed you my tub before what was how was the water there dirty water dirty water polluted water polluted okay so these are all the, correct these are all the threats to the dugongs now everyone understood till here about the dugongs and how they are important to this area yes ma'am okay yes so ma'am right so in your notebook what i wanted to do is you are going to only write the answers to these questions okay don't forget to write the date so it will be like a quick recap for all of you okay so you can uh, make a note of only the answers and okay i think these are all very easy right okay yes ma'am okay so let's do a quick self assessment all right come on. in the in your notebook i hope you all write this write the learning objective write this who has finished raise your hand who has already written the answers want me to go back to the previous screen okay no problem we'll go one by one okay you can write the answer at the same time before we see the screen okay there are more than dash kinds of fish that live in the sea okay rabia can you give me the answer of this one what do you think 500 ma'am yes i did you all write this 500 yes ma'am okay give yourself a tick you all are doing self assessment okay All right. Next one, Ashwini. There are two water bodies. Okay. There are two water. The two water bodies are dash that you Arabi are with. Yeah. Arabian Gulf and Sea of Oman. Okay. Very good. All right. Give yourself a take. Are you all getting it correct? I think it's too easy. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Next one. Okay. Baby dugong stay with their mothers for how long? Osina. Two. Two years, ma'am. Correct. Two years. Okay. Now the dugongs don't have enough dash as they food in the sea. Rama, what is the answer for this one? Sea grass, ma'am. Sea grass. Absolutely correct. So all got anyone got anything incorrect? All correct. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very good. All right. So you can give yourself your stars for that. Okay. Now. i wanted to do this extended task which you will do at home and upload it in the google classroom uh my for task one is my red uh, my uh, red group you are going to do write three examples of marine exa uh, marine animals that live in the sea okay my amber group is going to write why do you think dugongs are on the verge of extinction and the green group is going to ask they are going to you all are going to write in your notebook about how do you think we can save the dugongs and other endangered sea animals you all understood what you need to do in your notebooks and upload it in the google classroom google okay. all right so let's do a quick plenary now um rabia give me one thing that you have learned today one thing i learned about dugongs and that we need it's an endangered species we need to protect them because the underwater ecosystem depends on them who needs to protect them what are, what we need to protect them. How, which which subject are we doing today we are doing science this is science is this science class children social yes sst yes sst we are learning about ua rabia wake up rabia what happened to you today okay yes all right so who needs to protect them we need to protect them yes ue okay why does ue need to protect them rizwana because after australia majority of the dugongs are uh, in uh, near abu dhabi in the coastal very region good. of abu dhabi very good so i think you all have understood the lesson well and i'll answer some good questions 
So, uh, were you able to identify the endangered animal? Yes or no? Yes. Give me a thumbs up. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you explain how they're getting extinct? Will you be able to do that? Anyone has any doubts till now? Okay. Now you, mm -hmm. and you came up with ways also to conserve the endangered animals. Okay. Give me one way, Osina, one way to conserve the animals. Where is Osina? Okay. She's no problem. Sleeping, yes. Why? Is this class about yes. boring? I don't think so. Who, find, who found here, it boring? Oh, she's not there. Okay, Priscilla, can you tell me wait? How here, you put... Oh, you're there? Okay, but I think you missed that part. So I'll move to Priscilla. Priscilla, can you uh, can you give me one way to conserve the... How are you going to conserve these animals? Uh, you... Ma'am, we should keep our coastal area clean. Okay. We should not pollute the water. Yes. Okay. Uh, then also um, they get trapped in the fishing net. So we should uh, save them from all the fishing lines. Okay. Yes. So, very good. Right. Because they, they if, uh, and what will happen if they're not there, then the ecosystem will go off balance. Okay. So yeah. just a little bit of extra general knowledge for all of you. Dugongs are formed in the warm coastal waters. Okay. In the Pacific and Indian oceans from East Africa to Red Sea and also in Australia. But the maximum, as you know, are found in Australia and in the UAE, okay? So what you're going to do as an additional task, you are going to find out what action the UAE is taking to protect the dugongs, okay? And this is a GK question. Let me see if any of you can answer this now. Which other animal looks only looks like a dugong, but is not a dugong? It only looks like a dugong. Hippo. Hippo. That that is uh no that's the <laughs> okay I'm okay, make it. Does the seal special. look like a hippo? Is it whale? Seal. The whale. The sea lion. Walrus. Sea lion. Okay. Walrus also looks like. Sea animal only. It's a sea <laughs> animal. Okay. 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 Sea animal. Yes, you can find this out. It looks exactly <laughs> like exactly like the dugong. Blue whale. Do we look like this, uh, Rizwana? See its mouth. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm going to leave you with this now. Find out more about which animal looks like the dugong. Okay. And we are going to learn more about the natural resources in the next class. Okay. So did everybody have this lesson? Was it a bit different from the usual? Yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, fine. Okay, so then good morning and thank you, children. And I will not see you all now. I will see you all only after the spring break. Okay, so have a good break and uh, do a little bit of research work. Good morning and thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.